pieces. Now you are starting to look like you could be good at this. Bravo. Recently, you may have noticed a game that's coming out soon, November 18th, called Killing Floor 2. And you're wondering what it's all about. So you punched Killing Floor 2 into YouTube and you saw my video and you clicked on it. So thank you. First off, thank you for clicking on my video. I really appreciate it. Please check out my channel and subscribe. Killing Floor 2 is a horde mode style game, much like Call of Duty Zombies or Left 4 Dead. There are lots of cool pre-made characters to choose from. And obviously, each character can be equipped with cool accessories. Along with choosing your character, you can choose from nine different classes. Each class has its own special perks and special abilities that will help you throughout the rounds. Upon killing Zeds throughout the game, you will be granted with experience. Experience will grant you higher levels and higher levels will grant you more perks for each class. Even if you have loaded out with the support class, who caters mostly to shotgun weapons, if you choose to buy an RPG, for example, from the trader, using the RPG will grant you experience that will go towards your demolition class, for example. Between Z waves, or rounds, you will be able to buy and sell guns or melee weapons at the trader. Each class has its own weapon set specially catered to that class. Using this set will grant you more EXP upon killing Zeds. But keep in mind that each class has its own weight restrictions so you may or may not be able to carry all the weapons that you want. So choose carefully Zeds come in many different shapes and sizes, and after completing the final round, you will have to fight a boss Zed. It will be hard. Alright guys, so here's the part of the video where I'm basically going to give you my review, give you my rundown, my likes, my dislikes, do I think the game is worth it, uh, things that should change, my suggestions, da 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 da. This is a review of a beta that isn't finally out yet. So it's kind of hard to say, but judging from the beta, I really had a lot of fun playing this game uh, just with random people online, by myself, and with my friends. So there's a big thumbs up there for their multiplayer matchmaking. Um, I really liked the, all the options of the guns that they had. I wish there was a little bit more. Like I feel like this is a game where you could kind of just go nuts and just dump all kinds of crazy weapons into the game. And I'm hoping that they will do that. Maybe not right away with the initial release, but with downloadable content. I liked the characters, the overall theme of the being a survivor, um, fighting off this experimental failure creatures known as Zeds. Um, that was all really very cool to me. Um, I would like there to be a character customization or like character creation option. I like that in a lot of the games. Because it's always nice to just like create something and be me in a game and have nobody else be like that. And then it'll feel like I'm the one killing the Zeds. And I feel like it'll really help with the immersion of the game. Now, is that something that we're going to see? I have no idea, but I think that would be something that was really cool. Would be really cool. I also really liked the fact that using your perk weapons will help you level up your class faster. Like, so using the support... Um, using their shotguns will help you level up faster and I liked the idea that if I'm using the flamethrower or the RPG or something that that would level up the pyromaniac 
or the demolitions expert. Uh, I thought that was just a really cool idea. Like you don't see little things like that in games too much. Um, I also like the fact that if you're kind of um, in a pinch or a bind on your time, you could play like a short game, which would be like four rounds, or a long game that would be ten rounds, um, given you know where you're at in your day. And if you really need to just kill some deads, uh, some zeds in the middle of the day for stress relief. Um, I think that's really awesome. I really don't have anything bad to say about this game, and I think they're putting a really good price tag on it of $40 for the initial release. So if you're still on the fence about whether or not to get Killing Floor 2, I just want you to know that I will be buying Killing Floor 2. I'm really into these type of games. I really like first person shooters. I like survival horror. I like surviving zombie hordes and zombie waves. That's just who I am. If you're that type of person, I think you should get it too. And if you need someone to play with, my PlayStation Network name is all over the screen. Go ahead, give me a shout if you'd like. I probably wouldn't mind playing with you. Unless you're super annoying and like five years old. But otherwise, give me a shout. Um, and get Killing Floor 2. That's my review. Good game. Looks good. I want to get it. I'm, I'm excited. So if you guys have any other questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll catch up with you later.